Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click, and in this video, I want to walk you through our new Click Data Gateway direct access capability. It should be of no surprise that businesses commonly enforce strict firewall policies to safeguard their network infrastructure from outside sources and threats. Now, depending on these policies, access to internal data sources are usually blocked as well, presenting challenges when this data is needed by cloud analytics platforms. Instead of punching holes in your firewall and exposing inbound ports, the Click Data Gateway Direct Access can be installed on a system in an organization's network behind a firewall and allow secure encrypted connections between data sources and the Click Cloud SaaS platform. The Data Gateway Direct Access software establishes a mutual authenticated and encrypted connection to the Click Cloud platform using HTTPS. Click Cloud sends a query to the gateway and the gateway relays the query to the defined data source, which is configured with a direct gateway connector. The data is then streamed directly from the data source to Click Cloud. And it's important to know that it's always in transit and it never physically resides on the data gateway. Let me give you a brief demonstration. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you through some of the initial setup. Do note that there will be other installation materials you can follow, such as installing the prerequisites and the gateway software. Please note at the time of this recording, the prerequisites are a Microsoft Windows Server, eight cores, 64 gig memory, and five gigabyte storage. Obviously your Click Cloud tenant ID, and a, a user account for ClickSense administrators as well. And there are other sections for Windows ClickSense service administrators and so forth, but you can follow those installation guides to get the gateway software installed on your system. Also at the time of this recording, the on-premise data sources that are supported are MySQL, Oracle, Postgres, and Microsoft SQL Server. There are more connectors that will support the direct access gateway as well coming soon. All right, so right now I'm in my Click Cloud tenant. And the first thing that I'm going to do is navigate to my menu and go to the management console. And as a tenant admin, I have access to these sections. You can see there is a section called data gateways. I don't have any gateway configured at the moment. Now I do have the data gateway server direct access service installed and you can see here and it has been started. Please note after the installation of the software from following the installation guides, you might have to restart the system a few times. Now there are some steps that you will follow within the guides, but I'm going to run them here for you as well. So you can just see the whole process. I'm going to navigate to the location where the software was installed and I'm going to run a few commands and these commands are available within the installation guide. So the first command I'm going to enter is going to tell the gateway what my ClickSense Cloud tenant is. And you can see I'm running the command here and I have the name of my tenant as a parameter. Now the next command going to generate the keys and now we're going to show the key. As I mentioned, these steps are documented in the installation guide. And that's all we need at this point. So what I'm going to do now is just copy the key from the curly brace to the curly brace. And now within my click management console, click create. Just going to give it a name, calling it Retro Gaming Direct Access. You can provide a description. Gateway type is Direct Access. Paste in the key. And then choose a space. Uh, the spaces that are supported here are managed and shared. Uh, at the time of this recording, it is showing spaces that are set up as forts. If you're familiar with what a fort is, those currently aren't supported at this time. So here I'm just going to choose the uh, do more with click space and click create. Now 
Now, as a rule of thumb, I always like to restart my gateway service. So I'm just going to right click on the service and click restart. And now I'm going to uh, refresh my management console for the gateway. And now you can see the status is connected. So that's pretty much all you need to do. Install the gateway service. Make sure you follow the prerequisites and requirements. And then run those commands and establish that communication between the tenant and the direct access or the data gateway server. Now the next thing we're going to do is set up a data connection. So here I'm going to go to my analytics services. Now for reference, I'm going to use MySQL because that's what I have installed locally on my system. So we're just going to say add new data connection. And then again, at the time of this recording, you're going to look for a connector that says via direct gateway. So the ones that I mentioned earlier, uh, this is on a uh, early access system. So I'm not sure if all of these are going to be available at the time of this recording, because I might have access to some uh, test examples. Uh, so the production examples that I'm aware of is MySQL, SQL Server, um, Oracle, and Postgres. If there are more available, that's a bonus. But you can see that we have connectors here that say Direct Gateway. So the one I'm going to choose is going to be for MySQL, Enterprise Edition, via Direct Gateway. Now you'll notice the drop-down box will show you the gateway. You can configure more than one uh, gateway. Basically, as mentioned, in the opening, you're going to be installing the data gateway server, you know, as close to your data set uh, or database or data source on the premise as possible. Okay. Now, when you configure this, you just use whatever host name in the network that, that is recognized. Now, for me, it's localhost. The database I have is getting started. And the username and password has been set up. I click test connection and you can see connection succeeded. Now in the past, what I'd have to do is punch a hole through the firewall, expose port 3306, etc. Uh, I also would have to use a public IP address um, and also open up um, a port forwarding, etc. through my router to get this to work. Uh, now I don't have to do that. So now I just click create and analyze. And that's just going to create an app with that data connection. Select my database here, and there's my sales data. And now I am accessing my local MySQL database in my office from my ClickCloud SaaS platform tenant. At this point, it's just creating apps just like you know and love already with ClickSense. Okay, so that's all I have. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. As well, check out these other resources.